Hey everybody, I'm currently in room 301A in the Advanced Technology Center at CPCC in Charlotte, North Carolina and some of you viewers may remember a video I posted about a year ago about these computers, these um, Dell Precision, what are they now? T1650s running Windows XP you're probably wondering what was XP doing on these computers. I'll never quite understand why, but you're probably wondering. Seeing today is April 8th, the day of what's called the X Apocalypse. Had these computers been upgraded to Windows 7? Let's find out. You may have heard a clue earlier. Yes, they have. They have Windows 7 Pro 64-bit. I gotta lay my phone down just for a moment. Now it's getting logged in. I figure while we're at, we'll go ahead and pull up CPU-Z and show you the hardware on these things. Now, I did this before in the XP video, but obviously now that these have Windows 7 64-bit, you can see they're properly detecting the memory. These are really nice computers. They have Intel Xeon it's the um, E3-1240 V2 server processors, 3.4 gig, 16 gigs of RAM, plenty of memory. And of course, obviously, these are domain connected computers. Now, let's see if I still have my CPU Z files. I do but they're 32-bit. I need to go online and download the correct ones. So let's go ahead and do that. I think that's the correct site. <laughs> Epic fail. Internet Explorer has stopped working. Maybe they need to update their Internet Explorer from version 9 to version 11. That would be nice. Let's just go to Google. Because I sure don't want to use Bing. Actually, you guys, I've never liked Internet Explorer. Never have, never will. Go ahead and get CPU Z 64 bit. Nowadays, when you go download CPU Z, they give you both the 32 and the 64 in one um, extractable file. Or you can download a setup. Go and extract this. And what's funny is on the college's um, servers where you actually have your files stored, you have two sets of my documents and you know pictures, all that kind of stuff. Actually, I meant to say you have two sets of music, pictures, and videos folders. You had the ones that were from Windows XP, and you had the ones for Windows 7. But anyways, let's go ahead and run CPU-Z, latest version to date, and get a look at the specs on this thing. It's Ivy Bridge, and of course, um, as you can see, there's you got the um, 
the power save function going there with the multiplier getting changed. Multiplier can go from 16 to 38. Big multiplier because that bus speed is only 100 megahertz. Now I'm not very familiar with Intel server processors so maybe there's something else to say about these things. All I know is they got a lot of power and a lot of cash. Again there's another look at the cash. Motherboard. Obviously it's a Dell system. 16 gigabytes of DDR3, 1600, or at least that's what it's running at. Yep, it's DDR3, 1600. The system has NVIDIA Quadro 600 graphics. Anyways, not a whole lot to say other than that. These things have officially been upgraded to. <laughs> Windows 7, which I'm highly glad to see. After before we end this, let me do a um, Windows Experience Index run. And there's a look at the Windows Experience Index scores. Truth is, these systems were actually upgraded in the summer of last year, 2013. Not long after I made that first video. So anyways, thanks for watching.